Hey folks, this is Vincent Adderley with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly play Aquatica. This is a game for one to four players, it's for ages 14 and up, and the average play time is 60 minutes. So, this is a very pretty game, I gotta say, and this is our first time playing, so um, we may get a rule wrong or two. But based on what I've read, there's a lot of different things going on here. There's hand management, uh, there's a little bit of hand building. I don't want to say deck building, but we've got a hand building thing going on. We start with uh, like six basic cards. Each of us start with the same hand. And then we're going to play them to do actions, but we can also get more people by, you know, purchasing them down here. So we're going to be like building our own little hand of cards and they each have different abilities, which is kind of cool. So it's kind of got a hand builder thing going on. We're also going to be purchasing locations here that are going to be coming up and we can also conquer them too. If we take a look at this card, for example, there's a money symbol up here. It says two and a conquer red symbol, which says four. So we can use both wealth and military to conquer these locations and slide them in to our little board. There are five slots available. So whenever you buy it or conquer a location, you're gonna slide it up to the next available circle space. And the way the mechanics work in this game, you're gonna be using not only the cards for your turn to take actions, but you can also exploit these locations, meaning move them up by one, and then whatever you just covered up, you get to do that thing, which this says plus two conquer strength. So you could exploit this location to get plus two conquer strength, and then use cards and your helper mantas to help you conquer other locations on the board. So you're gonna be like, Again, I don't want to say the word deck builder, but you've got like a hand builder, you've got engine building as far as these locations. You can have up to five locations on your board. And your ultimate goal is to conquer or buy these locations to its fullest. Once you get all the way through a location, on the very bottom is some victory points there. And then at the end of the game, you're going to score however many of these you have in your score pile. And I know I'm kind of blowing through a lot of the rules very quickly, but that is a brief overview. Use cards to take actions, get these locations onto your board, get through the locations by taking these various actions, and then move them over to your score pile so that you can get victory points for the end of the game. That's typically the general flow. And again, you can get more helpers by buying them down here. There's also these goals up here in the top part of the board. Um, once players reach certain milestones, they'll be able to take their helper mantas here and assign them to the next available slot. Um, speaking of helpers, uh, each player starts with the same four helper mantas, um, just different colors, and they can be spent on your turn to help you do a particular thing. Like for example, let's say if you need some extra money, this is a plus one coin. If you need some help buying something down here, like if you play a card that lets you buy something, and then you use this by flipping it over to its exhausted side, that'll give you some extra money to spend to help you buy stuff. Or let's say you need help conquering something here, there is a plus one military uh, manta that you can flip over and that'll give you plus one military strength to help you conquer one of these locations here. Um, let's say that you get to a spot on your board that is blank. Like let's say that you've on a previous turn utilized this plus two military and now you're here and there's no symbol there. That means you're stuck there until you use a card or a manta with this arrow ability on it. This means push up a location by one, skipping over whatever it is. And that includes, if you have a symbol here and you use that, you lose the ability to use it. But those arrow abilities allow you to skip past those blank sections and move on to something else, or get to the end of a card very quickly so that you can later score it. Uh, speaking of scoring, there are treasure chest icons in this game, like here's this one here, for example. There's also treasure chest actions and other things on your starting hand of cards, like here's the wave teller, which is move two of your locations up or move the same location up by two, or score two of your cards. And again, you can score cards that have reached the end of their usefulness by getting through all of these circles. And once they're here, you can use that treasure chest ability to take this out and score it. There are two sections up here. 
One is for scored cards, and this is your discard pile for cards that you've already used. Um, due to table space, we're going to put our scored cards off to the side here and our discard areas over here. But typically, discard would go here, score cards go here. Um, to get cards back from your discard pile, each player has a like retrieve and refresh everything card, which is typical of a game like this. Neutrona here. Um, so you're going to take all of the cards from your discard pile, put it back in your hand. You're going to refresh all of your exhausted manta rays. And uh, in a two-player game, discard the leftmost character in the ocean, which is down here. Okay? So, yeah, that is typically how the game plays. Um, a typical round goes something like this. A player is going to play one card from their hand, and then as a free thing, they can take as many of these actions as they want with a limit to one. Uh, you, can, you can utilize one of these locations per card, uh, meaning like slide it up and take the action that you just covered. Like that's one thing you can do as a bonus action. You can flip as many manta rays as you want, assuming they're not exhausted to help you out. Those are like bonus actions that you can take. Um, and then once you're done with your one card that you've played and the bonus actions, then play goes over to the next person. Um, the game will end when someone has claimed all four of these locations or all four of these goals. Um, this one is have eight cards in your hand. This one is have all five lo have five cards here. Have your board filled up with locations at one time. Um, this one is have three cards in your score area. And this one is have two of these purple manta rays uh, at, at least in your area. Now, these purple manta rays will join your cause um, after, getting, after scoring certain locations. At the bottom of these location cards, once you score them, not only do you get victory points for in a game, but some of these have a little purple symbol. This says plus two gold. Once you get through an entire location and then score it, you're also going to look to see, oh, is there any purple icon? Yes, there is. It's plus two gold. I'm going to find the plus two purple gold, add it to my little manta ray area over here, and I could use that for future turns like I would my starting mantas. So typically, that's, that's it. I know I kind of breezed through a lot of the game, but hopefully as you watch us play it, you'll start to get a feel of how the flow works. Um, here's a quick look at the board, or the uh, box insert rather, and some of the components that we didn't use. If you don't like the default goals that are printed on the board, you can use these little circles here to cover up ones that you don't like or to do something else with. So th this is a way of changing the goals. Um, this is more advanced. You've also got um, these characters here. Players can assume the role of one of these characters and they get special abilities throughout the game. It's recommended for the advanced game, which we're not doing. And then these are the cards that were, these are the starter cards for the other colors in the game that we're not using. So um, that's a quick look at that. The rule book is roughly, it's quite lengthy, 31 pages, um, but it's pretty in depth as you can see. Also very nice to look at, lots of examples. So yeah, um, there's also a solo mode, I think, in here. Um, yeah, solo mode. So there is an advanced section here and a solo mode section there. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get this started. Um, would you like to go first? I don't care. <laughs> All right, so you've got a hand of cards. And I guess pick one to play. And... So where's the coin tracker or the scout? There is no coin tracker. When it, whatever you don't use for a turn, you lose. So if you used abilities to get yourself five coins, but then you only spent four, you just lose that extra coin. Coin, there is no money tracking. There's no money carryover. You, whatever you want to get, you spent, you, you raise what you need for it, and that's it. You can't, um, there's no way to save money from round to round. Now, a whole turn can, can, can uh, consist of like buying and, and adjusting. You play one card. Oh, that's one turn. And then yeah, you play one card, and then you get as many bonus actions as you want by flipping over mantas and utilizing these locations. But you only play one card per, per turn. I see. So right now, you pick one card to play. And then you do it. And every turn, the gold and the and the tridents all go away. Yes. 
<laughs> All right. Um, now here's the the purchase track down here. Mm -hmm. This is free. This is one, two, three, four, and five. So whenever a person buys a card, these all shift to become cheaper. So you may, if you, you know, if you need something cheap, you can start grabbing from here. Where's, what's the shark? The shark is gain three conquer military strength. Conquer one location, others discard one character. So whenever you play him, not only do you get three military strength, you can conquer one location, and you, other play, players have to discard one card from their hand. What's the second guy? This is all uh, one. You, you move one card completely all the way to the end location. Mm -hmm. So if you have this as your location, mm -hmm. if I slide this in, and you use that ability, you bypass every single circle on that card to get to the end. That's what this little up arrow with the line is. Just and then you score it? Yes. And then all... All, yeah, all players score one score card that one card that they may have. All right, I'm gonna do. So it's a way of scoring cards quickly. I'll do Blue Waters Agent and recruit the shark. Can okay, so yeah, you're gonna play this. Recruit one character. So this goes into your discard pile, which again, normally that would be here, but we're gonna put our discard piles here. Yeah, because yeah, of table space. So now you can use money. To recruit one character, uh, which, which the shark because I have no money. Okay. Three. Yeah. Again, you can use manta rays to help you if you need to. Oh yeah. Um, I'll do the shark. Though. Shark. Okay. So you're gonna get Meg. That goes into your hand. Okay. These all slide down. Yep. And that's that's it. Mm -hmm. um, so a new one comes out. Okay. So now it is my turn. Um, I am going to. I like that. Okay. I'm going to... Um, hmm. This is tough. <laughs> kind of. Already. I am going to... Use... Alright, I'm going to use my Legionnaire. It says, gain three military and conquer one location. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use him. Now, that means I need to conquer something that's three or less on here. Now, in looking at this, this is the only one I can do, or this one. This is one. That's overkill. You can use that with the manta. But I am yeah. going to use my manta, plus one here. Now, there's also a manta. It says plus two military, but there's a particular symbol on it. And this symbol is different depending on the, the player color. Hers has like a little shark fin mines like this boat um, if you look on the bottom of these location cards you'll see there's little symbols down here so she can only apply this this one to that symbol like if she were to use this manta to help her conquer something she could only apply it to a card with that matching symbol on it I could not use this for this because these symbols do not match mm -hmm. so that's there's something particular about that manta, manta. All right, so anyway, getting back to what I was doing. Um, this is five, uh, that's, I need a boat symbol if I, okay, this is three. So I could just conquer this one outright if I wanted to. That kind of is silly though. The symbols on here say, move a card to up. Yeah, this is gonna be for later. I'm instead going to, um, I'm gonna use this plus one. Manta, exhaust it, and that gives me four military, and then I will, um, hmm, this says plus two military against blue symbols, plus two military against yellow symbols, that's kind of particular, but that one does give me, okay, I'm going to go with this one actually, and this will go into my first location, and this slides up to the first available circle, and that would end my turn. Okay. I'm going to... Hmm. Now, whenever you buy a location, does that refresh immediately or not? I don't think so. No, I think scouting is the only way to refresh that. I see. I'm going to use my Meg, my scary looking card, 
to gain three tridents in conquer one location and others discard a character. All right, so I'm going to discard the Wave Teller, which is score two cards and... Or, Score two cards or move a location up by two. Okay. I'm just going to discard that one. And you get one military strength. Three and military? Oh, three military and conquer one location. Right. And I will use this one. Okay, so that's four military. Yep, and I'll grab that one. Okay. So that goes into one of your slots up to that part. Okay. All right, and you exhaust that, mm -hmm. and you're done. Mm -hmm. Um... I am going to... <sighs> what do I want to do? This is plus two military for that. Um... Okay. Let's... I'm going to recruit one character. Can you use more than one of these yes. at one turn? Yes, okay, you can. Just mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. Um, recruit one character. Um, I want to recruit this one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go ahead and flip my plus one money to do that. That gives me the one money that I need. Mm -hmm. Manta's leader. Unflip all mantas. Gain one military and then conquer one location. Oh. So it's a way of getting more of these mantas flipped without having to use Matrona to do it. So this goes into my hand. Okay, and you cannot use cards that you just bought, right? You can't. Well, again, you only play one card per turn. So to buy a character in the first place, you would have to have played one card to do it. Okay. Which one is this one here? This one? The number one, yeah. Uh, this is, uh, you get three slides up on any of the cards that you have. Other players get one slide up. Okay. Um, so it's a way of getting through cards quickly. Okay. Um, I'm going to scout. All right, so scouting, all of these locations move up. They become cheaper. Minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one, for military anyway. Mm -hmm. And now new ones come out. Okay. Two. Had there been more um, than four to put here, you would have to discard the ones of your choice. But, yes. All right, so now we've got new ones. So you can either now, uh, with that scout, it says um, gain, one, try to gain one military and, conquer and then conquer location. So you can pick from these now. Either the new ones that just came out at full price or... Um, you can conquer for, or you can conquer these for one military less. And again, you can use either money or conquer, but that is, that gives you the conquer. I'm going to grab this one for one and two, and I'm going to exhaust this. Can okay. I do that? So this is plus three military. Plus two. Oh, plus two. So you got plus two, that's three. Four, five. Four, five. And so I, this one? It's a symbol. Yeah, the it's symbol matches. Symbol. That's perfect. Yep. So you've got five military for this one, right? Okay. So that, that slides up by one. And now you've got an empty circle. Yep. So that means you can only get past that with one of those arrow, arrow actions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is used. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that would end your turn. Yes. Um, I am going to... Hmm. Um, give me that one. Okay, so that's plus two. Okay. So, what if I did... Um... So... Do I have to play the card first? I think I can utilize Mantas and these prior to playing a card. Because what I'd like to do is flip this over to exhaust it. This is plus two military against these blue symbols. So if I flip this over to get two and then play this, which is unflip all Mantas, gain one military, and then conquer one location. Um... The downside is, do I really want that particular... I don't know if I want that card. It's just, it doesn't have a whole lot on it that I'd want. Um, this is seven. Holy cow. Yeah. Um, what could I do? Um, this gives me plus two. I don't have a lot of choice. Um, game one by one location. All right. Yeah, I don't have... 
what I could do is bypass it and go for something yellow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this Manta. This says plus one up on it. So I'm going to actually bypass this plus two blue icon to get to the yellow one. Oh, nice. Okay, so now I can use that this turn to buy a different card that has the yellow symbol on it. Oh, wow. So this is plus two yellow. I'm going to exhaust that to get plus two yellow. Um... And that'll help me buy something. Plus two military or plus two? Plus two, two military for a yellow card is oh, nice. what I'm saying. Okay. Um, and I could then use the Manta leader to get myself up to three military, which I'm going to play. Mm -hmm. um, unflip all Mantas, gain one military, and then conquer one location. So that gives me three military to use uh, for a yellow. And I am liking... And but da, but da. let's go with um well for three military this isn't bad okay I'll go for this one so that goes to here okay and I think that's all I can do so it is now your turn um I will gain three military and exhaust this. Okay. To get this card that costs six military. Okay. So that was what, three plus three or? Yeah, three plus three. Okay, cool. Um, now, can I exhaust a card as soon as I buy it? You can, but again, your action was to conquer one location. So yeah. what else are you trying to do? You can't buy a card using that. Oh, you can, oh yeah, that's right. Remember, you, can only you, buy. you would have to play a card that lets you that's buy right. a card. I keep forgetting. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I see. Okay. Interesting. All right. So, are you done with that? I think. So. I mean, you can still use Mantis to bypass stuff if you want to, but you know what I mean. Like you've got that plus one arrow, you can use that to move one of those up. I could get rid of one of your blanks. I guess I'll wait. When is the t turn over? Like it's over now. Well, what do you mean when? It's I mean, like when is the whole game or when? Like your turn. When our cards are all discarded, like does. No, remember you play. You have one card that you play to get everything back. Oh, okay, so it's not like so there, you there can is play, no. You, you can play this like anytime, yes. even if a person. Yes, has you can. Okay. You can use that card anytime when you think okay. you need a reset. You can just play her. Okay. And she stays in your hand. She does not get discarded ever. Okay. She stays in your hand for the rest of the game. Okay. But the downside is you're using your entire turn to refresh everything. I see. Okay. No worries. Um. Okay. So I've got three cards left. Um. Can I use any of this stuff? This says plus two yellow on it. That's plus two blue. Oh, sorry, real quick. Um, because I had the six to military for this. Are you able? I doubt it, but are you able to split the military and buy multiple cards? No, it's one card. It's your card okay. specifically said conquer a location. That's right. It didn't say conquer two or more okay. than one location. All right, cool. Just wanted to clarify. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, two yellow or two blue. Uh, there's only the one blue icon there. This says plus two yellow. I may want to do another yellow one if at all possible. Um, I am going to... Because I could use that. Um, that one is plus two. Okay. That is four, actually. But it's a green location. Um... What I could do is, do I want, do I really want any of these cards? Um, I don't think I do. Um, yikes. Um, all right. I guess I'll just keep things moving then. Buy one location. I could, I could buy one outright rather than conquer it but I kind of want to get through these cards um, you know what let's do all right I'm going to actually use my sea lord gain one money and buy one location buy it with money um, I'm gonna spend my plus one money manta and this that gives me two and this location costs two so I'm gonna go ahead and um, actually, do I want this one or this one? I might want this one. Yeah, I want to go with that one. All right, so I'm going to buy that for two. Slide that there. My guy goes here. 
And that's my turn. Okay. I'm going to do the Sea Lord. Okay. So you're going to buy a location as well. Um. Yeah, I'll do a Sea Lord. Or do I? Oh. Yeah. Alright. <sighs> yeah, I'll do it. I'll do Sea Lord and exhaust this one to purchase this one here. Okay. And that'll be up here. Now, can I still use this card? You can, yes. This is a plus two up arrow. So, yes, you can use that. You can exhaust that to then move two other cards yes. up by one or the right. same card twice. So I'll do, uh, so I'll exhaust this okay. and I'll do one okay. and two. Yeah, you got it. That's perfect. Okay. And again, you can also use mantas if you need to, to move other things around. You've got that, you, so you could use this to then move one of these up if you wanted to. Not saying you have to, I'm just saying it's there. Um. Should, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'll do that. I'll do this. Okay. Now, does this take effect? No, only when you score it I see. with the treasure chest icon, the oh. icons. Interesting. So it's this stays here until you score it. Once you score it, then you would get one of these pur the matching purple icon or uh, tokens. Interesting. <laughs> All right, my turn. Yes. I think I need to scout. Um, so I'm going to play the seahorse. That gets me the ability to scout. These go into the discard pile. Um, these move up, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and it says uh, gain one military and conquer one location. So how am I going to do this? I've got one military already. There are some blues out here that look tempting. Um, let's see, there's a blue one there. No yellows here though, but I could use this yellow to help me conquer this if I wanted it. Um, there's this, that's four military. So what I could do is I could overdo it. Or I could go for this one. Okay, this one is better. So this is a five military blue location. So what I can do is, I've got one military from the seahorse. I'm gonna use this plus two blue from here. That gives me three. And then I've got plus two red military here. I'm gonna push this up by one. That gives me five. So one, two, and two is five. I've got five here and the symbol does match the ones that I did adjust. So this one is going to be added here. Hmm. And I think that will end my turn. I'm going to use Matrona. Matrona. So all of your mantas flip over. And the leftmost one is discarded in a two-player game. Yep. So I'm just going to put him off to the side here. And everything moves down. Yep. Okay. And now it's your turn. Did you... You have to take all your cards back oh. into your hand. Okay. I'll shuffle them. No, it's your hand. <laughs> I know. Why would you shuffle them? Because I like to shuffle. <laughs> okay. Whatever makes you happy. Um, what is that one at the end again? Uh, move all of Move them. three up. Mm -hmm. And then all their players move one up. And what's the octopus guy? The grabber. Conquer a location, then conquer another location. So if you want to conquer more than one location. You still have to pay the cost? Yes, you imagine? still have to pay the cost, yes. Okay. I only have Matrona left, so I have to I have to take all of my cards. I have no actions available. Mm -hmm. So this gets refreshed and it is now your turn. Okay. Um Okay. Oh my gosh, so much thinking to do. I'm already shaking. <laughs> I'm sure the cards are drenched with sweat at this point. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
sorry. Wipe your hands. I'm, sorry. I'm gonna have to invest in card sleeves for every game I buy. <laughs> that has cards in it. All right. Um. Let's see. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> and so you can use more than one manta. Yes. Yes, you can use more than one manta. These, again, those are bonus actions. Playing one card as your main action. Using locations and your mantas are bonus actions. Okay. You can take as many bonus as you want. Okay. One action per card, though. I understand. Well, oof. <laughs> this is so hard. Okay. I'm going to do... Oh, man. I'm going to do a gain... Okay, I'll do this. Gain one gold and buy one location. Okay. I'm going to exhaust this. Okay, that gives you how much more gold? Four gold, and I'm going to use this for five. Wait, that gives you plus three? Or? Plus three. Okay, so one plus three is four. Okay. Yes, and then plus one, which is five. So that gives you five gold. And I'm going to purchase this one. Okay. And I shall put it here. Okay. Now, because you've got five cards in your ta table... You can give up one of either your exhausted ones or your regular ones, unexhausted, to the eight points here if you want to, to get eight points for in-game scoring. But you lose that permanently. Yeah. It's up to you. <sighs> Tuffy. I'm going to get rid of... Oh, man, that's hard, dude. You don't have to. I'm just saying you no, could. No, I want to. Um, I'm going to get rid of Damn, I really love these things. <laughs> I guess I'll get rid of this one. The one military. Okay. So that goes here and you're going to get 8 points for end of the game. Okay. okay. Um I wish this had like a lock like a make sure like a like a little icon thing. Okay. Um, like a little track thing, like sure. token. Sure. <laughs> Just to let to signify that exhausted, you exhausted it because I forget. Okay. Sorry. Makes sense. Um. Oh boy. Um. I want more locations, but at the same time. Okay. Well. I need to chain stuff together, if I can. Well, that's pretty good there. Okay, that's three, and then it's a red. That's not gonna help. All right, there's no yellows. There's one up there. Um, I would need three, one, it's four. Okay, I don't have the ability to do that. Um, what I will do, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, I'm going to probably buy a character, recruit a character. Um, the question is, which one? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm mm -hmm. going to use this to get two more gold. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's two money I've got. So I can buy up to him if I want to. Um, this says gain one money and recruit one character or buy one location. So I'm going to take him and I will also utilize this location to score one of my cards. Nice. So that goes up to the blank and then I'm going to score this one, nice. which gets me a one military manta which is this one. So that goes ready there, and that, this is my score area over here. And can I do anything else? Um, I'm going to use my up one, exhaust it, to get past this blank here. And that, I think, is all I can do at the moment. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, first off, exhaust this to score this one. Okay. And that gets me a plus two military manta ray. Yep, you got it. Now can I use it the same yes, time? Yes, it's ready. Mm -hmm. All right, so, all right, got that. I already exhausted this, all right, just to remind myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And well, the fact that it's flipped over should remind you, but that's true. Mm -hmm. um, you do you. <laughs> and I will. Um, what am I gonna do now? Hmm. Okay. Um. Okay, dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, these slide down, I forgot. And then no one comes out? Yeah. It's a very slippery board. So every time you purchase something? Yes. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. This one is, okay. So, how do you gain a character? Like, how do you pay for a character then? There's a card in here that says recruit one character. So you play that, oh. and then you use any money that you can from here or here from I your see. mantas to buy stuff. I see, I see. All right. Um. And again, there are a card that I just got was gain one money and then recruit one character. So this, this card is like an improved version of this. Yeah, interesting. I will play this one. Three Meg conquer a location. You discard a character. Okay, so I have to discard something. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to discard. I kind of want that one. Mm. I guess I will get rid of. I don't think I need. Yeah, I'll I'll get rid of my seahorse. Okay. And I will move this up, exhaust it. Okay. And I'll grab this one here. Okay. And this goes up. So that gave you three plus, what did you exhaust? Four. four. Okay, so you have four total. Yes. Okay. And I put it here. Okay. Now can I exhaust this one that I just used? Yes, it has a plus two up on it, so you can exhaust some other... Right, so you could exhaust that and that to get rid of those blank circles. Yes. So I'll exhaust this and this. So this moves up by one first. Yes. And then that one and that one. Yes. So you moved one up one and one up the other. Yes. Can I use this to my up to exhaust this one? You can. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think that's all I can. Oh, did I? I used this one to exhaust you... this turn, right? Did you score anything? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember if I scored it last turn. Uh, See, that's what I'm talking about. I wish there was an easier way to track. I don't think you did. You, I think you got that military last turn, didn't you? If you want to use that, go ahead. It's fine. Just use that. Are you sure? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So it's a treasure chest that you're exhausting to score another card. Yeah. And I want to score... It's either this one or this one. This one. Okay. And that's... That goes in your score pile. Oh and what's gosh. the symbol on the bottom? Plus one coin. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. How many characters do you have? I have, well, seven, well, I have eight total, but two are in the discard. So I can't. That. It says eight in your hand, I think. Oh, I see. I see. So when, the next time I refresh, I, I can do that. Interesting. All right. Um, <sighs> do, I have two wilds. Do I get this one? Uh, yeah, if you want to. Uh, you have two. Yeah, you have two, though. So if you want to put a Manta there, you can. Um. I think you're going to win this, clearly. No. You've already got two cards to my one, and you've got two Mantas out there already. No. I'll just use this one. All right. Gain one money. Okay. So if I were to buy a location, what would I do? Um, it's four, it's two, it gives me two, but not enough. 
Um, this gives me two yellow to do something with. I guess, okay, this gives me three. Three plus, that's six, ugh. I don't have a lot of options here, honestly. Um, okay. That's a waste. Maybe I'll just buy another character. Um, this gives me one. And then that would give me two. And I could buy the researcher or I can play that one to conquer a location, but I would need a ton of military strength for that. Um, this, or I could just get that one for free. Or just buy a location outright, which. Man, that stinks. All right, this is, this would be two military. Uh, and this is six military, but that's too much. Okay, so what I can do, um, I have to use, I'd hate to overkill this, but I'm just gonna play the Legionnaire. That gives me three military and conquer one location. Um, and that would be enough for that, clearly. That's because this would be two. So I'm going to put this here to there. Now I can also do other things. I'm going to use um, this one. Well, do I want to use that? That would push another card completely to the end um, if I wanted the help. Like I could. Maybe I'll save that. Um, all right, I guess that's it for me. I mean, that was kind of a crappy... I'm sorry. No, don't be... I mean, I'm getting... Even though I've got all these cards... I'm gonna use the gain three... Okay. And exhaust this one. Okay. Four. And then five, six. Okay. Yeah, you got this in the bag. grab this one? Yeah, here. go for it. Not really. It I don't have too much. Yeah, I think you scored more than I have. And, um, can't really do anything else, huh? Yeah, I don't think I can. Okay. Right. Um, I am going to, I kind of have to do this if I'm, there's only a couple locations left. Um, I could buy one location if I had enough money to do it. That's two. That's four. None of these have money. All of these are conquer. So yeah. I could gain one and conquer one location. This is like one one victory point with no benefits to it. Yeesh. Okay. Um what I Wow. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to play uh just to get rid of this one. Um recruit one character or buy one location, gain one money. So I can just I can just buy something um with this. So maybe I'll go with um, this, I have one, I could go with two, but there's no sense in me doing that. So I'll just get this researcher for free. Mm. And this slides everything down this way. Okay. I'm going to recruit one character. I'm going to exhaust the three coin. Okay. And I'm going to buy, uh, buy this one. The healer. Pay one money yeah. to play any character from your discard pile. So that goes right into your hand. Okay. And, and I think 
That is all I can do. All right. Um, with that in mind. Kind of sucks that like I overpaid it, but I really want. Well, to. I have yeah. I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna have to like gain my money and buy one location. Um, I'm gonna use the Sea Lord, I guess, to gain one money and buy one location. But this is zero cost. Mm -hmm. I kind of have to this there's no symbols on here. So this is gonna go right to the end so This is purely for the one victory point that it's gonna be worth um, So that goes right to the end um, And I guess Should I utilize anything else on this? Doesn't look like I should No, okay, um, that's all I can do I'm going to use this one to, um... Oh, I've got five here, so I'm going to go ahead and give up one of my tokens. Oh, nice. Okay. To get that there. What is this one again? If you have three scored cards, which you will if you use that for scoring. I'm going to use this to... How many cards do you have? One? Huh? You have one I have one there. Card. Yeah. Man, it's tough. This is so tough. Um. The order is, like, important, too, I notice. Kind of, yeah. Um, okay. How my brain? Okay. I'm actually going to, you know what, I'll score it. I'll score two. I'll score these two. Okay. And I get this one. Um, if you I want. Sacrifice. Like, you you could end the game fairly soon here. I'm just saying. How? Well, if you get this one, that uh -huh. will signal the end of the game. Because you've got, uh, next time we play, I definitely want to add the custom goals that make the game longer mm -hmm. just because i feel like i'm barely getting started here i'm sorry love. no i'm just saying um i'll, I'll talk about that later but <laughs> all right so you got that yeah uh, is there anything else um i cannot do anything else all right i am going to um score two of my own um so this one and this uh, one. it's a good thing i scored it <laughs> oh man I was um now I've got three, so I'm going to give up this one is just move up one, so I will just, um, that was the, that one there. Um, did any of them have, no, no custom purple symbols. Um, this one allows me to skip stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Mm to jump all the way to the end. Nice. And did I use this? I did not. So I'm going to use this treasure chest now. Oh, no, wait. You used no, I, it? I just used it. Yeah, I just used it. You're okay. right. I'm good. Okay. <clears throat> I'll use Matrona. Okay, to refresh everything. Refresh everything. That means I unflip all these? Yep. Okay. I have eight characters? Yes, you can. That would end the game. I'm sorry. Well, everyone gets one final turn, but yes. Oh, really? Yeah. I kind of don't like this. Like, the game is ending way too quickly for me. I agree, honestly. Like, if I were to change things, I would definitely add... Oh, this one is plus three Manta Rays. That's interesting. Rather than two. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'd, I'd much rather do that. I'm going to um, just... Go ahead. 
to this one here. Oh wait, no, no it I can't. has to it be has a red to be one. one. Oh, fudge nuggets. I'm sorry. All right. So that means everyone gets one final turn, mm -hmm. um, which I, I have nothing. I mean, I can't. I have to use Matrona to score things. Um, so that means I'm going to have to use Matrona to actually what I could do. I could utilize this symbol to score this one and then use Matrona to take everything back and flip everything. Now, because I've got more than eight characters, I will use this one to go here. Um, did I score any? No, I did not. Okay. And I think that's, this goes away and you get one last turn. Yeah. I guess I'll just play this one and go up by two. Yeah, you but just can't. That's all I can do. Yeah. I can't even score it. <laughs> you can't score it, right? So that ends the game way sooner than I would have liked. If I had one more turn, I could have scored it. <laughs> yes, you could have. So now um, we score based off of the cards here and the mantas. You've got a clear eight point lead here. Mm -hmm. Well, eight plus three plus three plus three. You've won. I'm just going to say that. Mm -hmm. Mine was, I got. Um, 9, 10, 14, uh, 19, 24, 29. But you clearly have 8 times 4. You've got 32 right there without your card. So you clearly won that. 18. Okay. So what did you think? It, it feels like there needs a balancing issue, I think. With What do you mean? I like, I like the game. This just, no. I, <laughs> I, this went too quick. Like, the goals were so easy to obtain. It's just like, if you... How long you, is, does the box say that the game is? Um, it was like 40, no, 60 minutes or something like that. I'd have to look. Mm. But I felt like these beginner... These are fine beginner goals, but these were so easy to complete. Whoever gets a lucky start or a good yeah. start will just get a, get first place on all of those like you just did. Like, you got a better start than I did. Yeah. So you got a huge lead. That I would have, I had I known that, I would have totally used these. Or give me the option to wipe these out altogether yeah. and just play for these cards. I did not like how quickly one could get into this. I don't like these, this either because I don't like sacrificing my manta rays. I don't mind that aspect of it. What I mind is the person with the runaway lead, mm -hmm. there's no way to catch up from that. This card was evil because it made you have like one less turn while I had like an additional turn. Yeah. So that was, that was kind of a messed up card to start with, honestly. At least for the other player. What would I have? Ch what would I have chosen instead? This is three mantas instead of two. Mm -hmm. um, I guess this has five up. So having five cards completely finished. I would have gotten rid of this thing altogether, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, some of these might be. be oh, there, there's reverse sides too. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's cool. So I, I would totally. For those of you looking to buy this game, I know it says that the beginner ones here. Are what I recommended. This made the game way too quick for me. I I barely even got an engine going, if at all. I got through maybe four cards. I did. I felt like I did nothing for the last forty-five minutes. I feel like this is a runaway lead, and I don't like this at all. I don't like this either. <laughs> I would, these I would goals need to be tokens. tougher. So again, I recommend these over these, or get rid of this entire top half yeah. completely. I That's know. my personal take on that. I, I like. The fact that you can engine build and use abilities and slide cards around. I love that you can buy new cards for your hand. This part was cool. There's, I like that. There's definitely a strategy to it. Like, I think getting rid of my plus two, what was it, specific type, and then getting, like, the other plus two right. is such a great substitute. So there's definitely a tactical yeah, assessment. there's just this just this wins by way too quickly. Like mm -hmm. you've got this entire location deck that we barely went through, mm -hmm. and you like you rushed the end of the game as quickly as you could. And I I, I don't I like did. I didn't really care for that. Mm -hmm. um, I just I don't think it's the, I don't think this beginner goal set is balanced at all. Yeah, in my opinion, I agree. Um, it's just way too easy. So if you're gonna buy this, I recommend using the advanced ones. 
it's a lot. Or come up with your own. It sounds a lot more complicated than it looks to be on than it plays. Because mm -hmm. I found playing this so easily, there's a flow to it that I really like. Mm -hmm. The only thing I don't like is that you can't really hoard coins, so it's really hard. Like, how are you supposed to get five coins? But well, I guess that's when you have to... You have to exhaust a lot of cards with money yeah. on them. You it's, have to set it up. It's very interesting that these cards, these location cards, are always one-time use items. Like, yeah. they're like one-time use resources. Where you, right. You could just it's, an engine, it's a consumable engine builder. <laughs> it's so weird. It's weird, yeah. yeah. I like uh, it was okay. It was okay. I like it. It's beautiful. This game is gorgeous to look at. It's creepy. I like how haunting it is. Dude, the wave teller, this guy has half a head. Like his eyes are done. Yeah. <laughs> it's so creepy to me. I love the art. It's so haunting. Yeah. I, I would play this again, but with a modified rule set for this. Would I play this again? Would you? Hmm. I, there's other board games there that I think I like better, but mm -hmm. like other engine builders. But this was interesting. I think it does something different, but I don't think it was. I don't think the default rule set was balanced up here at all. Yeah, the, I, there's something I don't like about this market phase. Maybe I don't mind this. What I had a problem with was when one player gets everything lined up perfectly yeah. and everyone else is struggling. The bam, 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 bam. Like you just, you're able to knock those out. This point system up here is totally messed up. I think if we had like something like this, but with coins with the market guys, I think that would have been nicer, maybe. Maybe I don't know. But I don't. I didn't mind this. I didn't mind this. I didn't mind this. I know you. I'm you that. That's the only thing you hated. I'm. I would be fine if they cut this board completely off and remove that. Yeah, I actually would prefer that. To be I honest. want. I would play until either that ran out or this ran out or actually the location deck just these characters go through pretty quickly yeah i would say when this location deck runs out that's when the game is truly over what stinks, and ignore this completely what stinks though about that is again a balancing issue that i feel like there definitely could be a runaway lead from just having like stacking up locations imagine how many manta rays one person can have right and the other person doesn't have as much mm -hmm. you know so, I don't know. Finding that balance. Yeah, it's it's rough. Um, or maybe only use half the location deck. Yeah. As opposed, like, look, there's so many cards left. So maybe for every new game, I'm just, this is a suggestion for a variant. When you're setting up a game, ignore that, cut the deck in half, and th the rest go back in the box, and this is what you use for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. And then when this runs out, that's when the game is over. Yeah. That's what I, this as a variant, that's what I would like to see. There's, I think the game is missing dice, for sure. No dice. Get out of here with <laughs> dice. I would, I recommend this game, but with a modified rule set. Mm -hmm. What about, would you, re you recommend it at all? I, I do. I love the cards. I, I, I love all the cards. The art is fantastic. The gameplay is above, I would say six out of ten. Six out of ten. Or above six, average. Yeah. Slightly above average. Yeah, slightly above average. Okay. So, yeah. Aquatica. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vincent and Natalie. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Maybe a low seven. Sorry. Okay, bye, guys. Wow. <laughs>